Hey guys, welcome back to my second Morfolio Trace Tips and Tricks video. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to set the scale for your custom stencils. One of the coolest features that I love about Trace are the magic stencils. As you can see here, there's a large array of stencils that you can use on your plants, on your elevations, you can create details and you can also create diagrams. And a huge plus is that you can create your own custom stencils from images. But first off, we need to create an image file of the furniture you want to use. And to do this, I use my own existing AutoCAD blocks, which I'm gonna transfer here to Trace after converting them into images. Okay guys, I'm here in CAD, and right here I have a queen bed, then I have a dining table, I also have a few chairs, and I also have a furniture for the living room. And of course, all the drawings were uh, drawn to scale, one to one scale, full size scale. One trick that I wanted to share with you is that I like to add a heavy line around the boundary of the furniture. So for example, here I have the dining table and also the chairs with a heavy line uh, around the boundary and also the same for the other furniture. Uh, I think that adds a nice depth and also avoid uh, the lines to appear too thin when we convert the drawing into an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a polyline around the queen bed up to here make a mirror image do the same for the side table over here just gonna copy the properties and make a final mirror image right here the final step before converting the files into images is to measure any component on the drawing so for example in this case I, i'm gonna use the uh, bedside table here I'm gonna measure from here to here, which is one foot six inches. I'm gonna memorize that dimension, that one foot six inches, and when we open trace, we can scale the stencils based on that same measurement. Okay, now we have all our drawings ready to be converted into images. So I'm gonna start with a queen size bed, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make a print of this, and I'm gonna select Publish to web JPEG right here. Okay, I had already created an 1800 by 1800 pixel sheet, and for the scale, I'm gonna use a custom scale, and it's gonna be 10 pixels equals one unit. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK, and I'm gonna go to my iCloud Drive folder, and here I have a folder that I already created stencils uh okay and i'm gonna name my first image right here okay click save and that's it all right i'm back to trace and here i have my floor plan that i created in quarter inch scale and also my sheet size it's 11 by 17 so i'm ready to add my furniture to my plan okay I'm gonna bring the stencils tool here, I'm gonna tap here, and I'm gonna tap on the plus icon over here. So, this is gonna take me to four options, and if you remember, we added the images to the cloud drive. So I'm gonna tap here, and I'm gonna go to my stencils folder, and here you can find the four images that we created before. I'm gonna add the queen bed over here, and just like that we have created our first stencil here okay as you can see there's no set scale for this stencil you can just uh, make it bigger or smaller so in order to set the scale and match the scale of the floor plan if you remember we measured this distance and it was one foot six inches so what i'm gonna do is to create a line and let's make it one foot six inches okay so i'm gonna create one foot six inches line over here right here over here okay i'm gonna bring my stencil again and i'm gonna match the scale of this line with a one foot six inches of the side table of the bed okay so right here we have uh, one foot uh, one foot six inches so this stencil right now is to scale and it matches the scale of the floor plan. So I'm going to lock this stencil and it's going to remain the same size even though I 
make the plant bigger or smaller. So I'm ready to add my stencils to the different rooms here. So we don't need that line anymore. So I'm just gonna make undo and I'm just gonna add my stencil over here, right here, right here. I can also add one more bed here. And it doesn't matter because uh, the scale is gonna remain the same if I make the plant bigger or smaller. And I'm gonna add one more here. And right here also one more. So the coolest part of this is that uh, when I bring one more stencil here and go to my cloud drive, and let's say, for example, I want to add a dining table over here. I just tap on there, uh, tap on done, and this one is already to scale, because if you remember, we created the images to scale from cut uh, converted to images, but uh, it was always the same size. So it's gonna remain with the same size. So all my stencils over here are to scale. So I'm gonna add the dining table over here. And I'm gonna bring one more stencil over here. Let's bring, okay, the living room. Okay, and remain the same scale. This is so cool. Okay, we can make like a mirror image here, mirror image. And probably we can rotate it like this. We can rotate it like this. And add furniture to the living room space over here. So easy. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. And let me know if you have any questions or leave me a comment or suggestion. And I'll see you next week with more.